go again. Walker's casting cherries this time. You want the net? <laughs> Great fish. Well, it's just sprinkling now. So we'll see if it. <laughs> no way! <laughs> Good morning everybody. We are uh, getting a little bit of a late start. We had dreams and aspirations <laughs> of waking up early, hitting the top water bite because when we left the lake last night, it was glass. I'm sure you guys saw it. Oh, by the way, if you haven't seen day one of this whole series, go back and watch day one because this is a three day uh, fishing series. So check that out. But anyways, back to the story. The water was glass. Let me show you what we're working with now. All right, see what we got going on. The wind came in last night. There's white caps on the lake today. I'm not the fishing expert. I don't know if that's gonna be good or bad for fishing. Walker? Could could be good, but it's gonna be harder to fish, control the boat and stuff, but I'm hoping we can find a bay, maybe hide out in it and fish around. Here we go. You know, weather the storm. And Walker kept saying he couldn't believe how nice it was here yesterday because he's never seen it like that. Now I understand why. Yeah, we had, had a special day yesterday. Sure. We'll make it the best we can, guys. Oh. Much, much better here. We're out, out of the wind a little bit on this bay. We'll see. Might be good, too, because the current and up the waves it's gonna come over here and hit this point mm -hmm. and we actually caught a couple there yesterday yeah we're uh this is where we started our day yesterday so we'll try it again but funny story about last night walker and i after we ate fit ate our salmon and ate our dinner we rested up for a little bit then got in the canvas cutters and we we're both completely zipped in the canvas cutters and all of a sudden i can hear something wrestling around in plastic and i was just like what the heck i was like walker, walker is that you? yeah <laughs> is that you no <laughs> turn the light on real quick and two raccoons scurried up the hill so we knew we were in for it so we got prepared we, we put everything in the yeti put everything in the tote so we didn't have an issue until we got to the boat <laughs> raccoons came and took over the boat we got into our peanut bag demolished the place i know it looks pretty clean now we spent the morning cleaning it but they had apples oranges peanuts they had a party last night on the boat. Here we go again, Walker's casting, and I'll be getting camera stuff ready real quick, but here we go, guys. Again, Walker's casting while I'm eating cherries this time. You want the net? Yeah. Oh. It's another three and a half, four. Oh, nice dark one. <laughs> Great fish, Walker. Man, I'll tell you what, this kid does not give up. Yeah, we've been hitting every single <laughs> spot on the shore all over the place. And finally, you just come across one or something, I don't know. Such a mystery, this fishing. After yesterday, you're like, fishing's easy. And then today, you're just like, where'd the fish go? Why aren't they biting? <laughs> I started eating snacks, of course, a long time ago. I've been eating snacks for a while. Walker kept casting and got the big dog. I think they're dark when they hang out in the rocks. That popped right off. Look at that thing. Look at the gut on it. <laughs> That's a cool fish. I think it's staging just out here on this deeper stuff and it's gonna come spawn in this bay. There he is, guys. I don't know what he weighed, but nice, fat, healthy bass. Let's get it recovered and back in. A little scar on the top of that one, huh? Yeah, look at that. That's from, gee, he's just filling the belly on these things. I know, big old bellies. There she goes. <laughs> Good well, job, way to stay first persistent. Fish of the day, got the skunk out of the boat finally. We just fished this entire bay with nothing, got right here to where the, the wind's kind of breaking. And Walker slammed that one. Just for reference, it's 10.30. Caught our first fish of the day, day number two at 10.30. And uh, Walker, I'm sure we'll waste no time to get back out there. Hey, dude. Again, fish number two. Oh, yeah. Woo. Woo. Another good one. Another good one. Another net fish. Another net fish. 
camera net duties. <laughs> what? <laughs> back to back fish for Walker. That's how it's been. He literally way. just got back in the water. Like what, first or second cast? Second cast. Dude, this is the prettiest fish we've caught on this trip, guys. That's been the whole trip. That, that is we get. the coolest. This is like a tiger bass. <laughs> Look at the markings on this thing. Big old bars on her. Oh, the jig already came out. It is? Yeah. Man, good thing we landed her. Jeez. What do you think she is, boy? Yeah. All right, let's show you guys. This Look at the thing. colors of this fish. Oh, yeah. Look, yeah, so. Yeah, the markings. Large. Let me get on the sunny side. Let me switch him. Oh, yes, look at that. Dude, I love that fish. How pretty. Freaking awesome. Dark underbelly. That's the darkest one we got. Yeah, that's the most colorful contrast one we got. Yeah, man. Jeez, that was sweet. All right, guys, there's our second fish of the day. Just let her go. I think we're onto something. Just keep throwing these jigs on these rocks, but it's like it's been the whole trip. I mean, we find one, and then we'll catch a couple in that same spot, and then it's just like a dead spot. That fish was right at four pounds on the dot, but one of the prettiest fish, if not the prettiest fish of this trip. A lot of contrast, a lot of markings. And I didn't even have time in between the, the, those two fish to get my rod in the water, so. <laughs> I better hurry up, <laughs> try to catch myself something. Oh yeah. Eric's hooked uh -oh. up. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Get him, Walker. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. Walker, thanks for the save. I, I could tell he was barely hooked. Holy barely crap. Hooked. We're good. Check it out, guys. Yeah. Finally got me a bass today on day number two really dark like not a lot of markings like those ones you caught dark belly but that was a really cool strike like i kind of second guessed myself i'm not gonna lie I set the hook but then was like oh yeah that's a fish but we were doing some pictures uh of him in the water some still photos and he boogied out of there <laughs> so he kind of flipped out of my hand thanks for letting me sit on the front of the boat walker <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was literally about that same distance from the bank where Walker got his to. So, like Walker said, we're we're on to something good here. It's too bad the GoPro is out of memory, guys. I so badly need to get a big mini SD card for that thing. So we're sticking with the vlog camera. All right, guys, I'm going to show you what we're doing and how we're catching these fish. What we got on is just these... Just a bass jig, this is a ripping lips jig, the craw trailer. Real small profile, it's a quarter ounce. There's like this wall of rocks and we're chucking it on the edge of the rock. If you get it right on the rocks, you're snagging up a lot. And we're just, seems like the slower the better, we're just crawling them. Not real aggressive. And you'll just feel them bump, suck up in their mouth, and you just hit them with the hook set and it's, it's on, baby. I got so lucky to hook that one on the outside, huh? Yeah, I wonder what the heck. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> no way! <laughs> Holy cow! I brought Eric to the shore. Holy cow! To get his snag out. I was snagged. My jig was in the rocks. And Walker had to come all the way to the bank, and right when I got it out, all of a sudden, we went right back down. <laughs> but I know it was not a fish at first. So as soon as it come out, he must have been waiting for it to like come out or something. And once it popped off the rock, that just triggered him to eat this? it. I think that's the summer craw ripping lips quarter ounce. Yeah, so this one, check it out. There's that jig, I think that's summer craw. The Gary Yamamoto trailer. Heck yeah, Eric. You guys ready to see the beast? <laughs> yeah. That one has got some dark, dark, dark. I think He's living in the rocks, eating crawdads. It's like the ones on these rocks are a lot darker. Yeah, how about that, guys? This is another great fish. We'll probably just let it go. We've got quite the collection of pictures already. I know. Yeah, that is a pretty fish. Watch this release. We'll make sure he's back in there. Healthy. 
blood on his top of his mouth. Look at that. Is that cool or what? Jeez. What an exciting strike because I was basically in the slums of fishing when is when you get a snag. <laughs> you have no hope and then right when it came loose, he hit it. That'll heal up just fine. Oh, there, there he goes. goes. Man, <laughs> that was crazy. That was like all hell broke loose basically. <laughs> Walker was stumbling. I was trying to do everything at once and he was getting the camera, but we made it happen. <laughs> Good job. There's the confidence booster we needed. Yeah, that that, one. that's gonna help us a lot, Good just job. mentally. Just hooked up with another one, right here on the edge of these rocks. Maybe I will get the crank. Crankbait's got some serious trebles on. Yeah, yeah that, pulling, you did switch, huh, to the crankbait. Yeah. First crankbait fish of the day. Did you get one on the crank yesterday? Um, no, I don't think so. Might be the first crankbait fish of the trip. Not a bad one. Yeah. There it is, another solid, probably two pounder. Yeah. Beautiful quality fish. <laughs> Never gets old. <laughs> it doesn't. As soon as you catch one, you want to catch the next. All right. Oh, she's gone. See ya. Sweet. Animal. So how are you fishing that? Just. Um, Eric popped, like you said, your jig got snagged and you popped it off. Which is usually like in a reaction by a fish. Didn't want it at first, but once it, re you know, jumped out, it reacted and hit it. So I thought of using more of a reaction type bait, like a crank. You can cover more water, so just digging down there on the rocks and it probably um, just sees it coming by and has to react, you know. Mm -hmm. so, do I want to eat it or do I don't? Boom. Well, it's 12.45 now, so we're going to call it for the morning fishing. We caught, I think, four or five, but they're all really good ones. Um, or at least better than average, so not complaining at all, but we just bailed out of camp this morning. We didn't eat anything, so we're going to go to camp, relax a little bit, strike up the camp chef, and uh, cook some bacon and eggs. Hopefully, since this morning was a little slow, the evening will pick up. We'll have uh, fingers crossed for that. load it up check a couple things maybe strap it down and go get food Walker can't even wait for breakfast he's already busting out the sandwich I'm still gonna eat I just don't wanna waste the look sandwich. at that giant <laughs> that bread witch <laughs> piece of bread huh? alright guys we got some turkey bacon and eggs to grill up so I'm gonna get everything out Does that look good or what? We have some turkey bacon, like some thick, thick stuff. Well, at least thick for turkey bacon. And then we're doing peppers. And then after that, this stuff is done, I'm gonna throw some eggs on there. So keeping it healthy for that 90 day challenge. If anybody who's followed us, I'm sure you already know that uh, we're committed to the Mountain Ops 90 day challenge. And I think we will have five weeks left after this weekend's over, which is crazy. Walker's not on that 90 day life. Sandwich and bread all day, man. Yeah, he has got a hoagie sandwich or whatever you call him, <laughs> like two feet long when he got here. <laughs> He's still working on it. <laughs> this is Walker's, that's four eggs. Let those sit on that side, and then we each get three turkey bacons and some peppers, so this is all about the health. Health is wealth, guys. <laughs> not fish, not big bucks and antlers. There you go, guys. There's. It's like a brunch. It's about one o'clock now. Let's chow this down, take a nap, get on the water. Hey guys, thanks for watching the third video of the bass fishing trip. Hope you guys are enjoying both the trout fishing series and the bass fishing series back to back. Of course, we're doing daily videos, so if you didn't see the first two videos of this trip, you can go back and check our channel. If you didn't see the first few videos of the trout trip, you can also go back and check those out. Again, five videos a week. We're doing videos Sunday through Thursday. Please make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And if you guys are interested in any of the gear that we're wearing in these videos, including the new fishing gear, just check us out at GetHushin.com. 
again we love you guys thanks so much for viewing we'll catch you on the next video